Good morning. It is 6.35 a.m., 73 degrees outside. Sunday, the 15th of October, November, November. We are still here, and uh, we're just gonna kinda go for a little bit of a walk, head over to the beach. I hear everybody's air conditioner running. Okay, we are in site 605, and it is a premium site, and you can tell that because look at all this yard space here. So if you have children or dogs or whatever, this is a nice spot. Um, any of the end, end? road ends or the end of the road lots that's where you get the extra space you know if we had known that we i wouldn't have chosen a premium spot but i just wanted to try it out look at the fog isn't that fun ah oh, it's so pretty i know it's fog but whatever so in the dog park this morning we have learned our lesson we are not going in there <laughs> so but that's actually really that's a pretty shot right there okay so we're gonna head over to the beach and uh, you can see there's the office right there so we're down the end of that street so I actually haven't even walked on our street so last night when we got back in I was looking at people's campsites as we were passing and they all had these like electric tiki torches oh you know I have them now right <laughs> they have been ordered <laughs> They are the coolest thing. Oh, they have them over here. They're not lit up in the daytime, but seriously, I have them now. So we're gonna try them out camping and we may have to get some for the house. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not a campsite. Oh, here's the pool. It's not open. It's closed right now, but there, there it is again. You can see it there. So where is it? Oh yeah, it is a volleyball court. Oh, it's a great park to come to if you're the type of person who's going to be there for a while or have kids. You're going to be here for the summer. Swimming. Swimming, yeah. This is a great, great park. I need to keep my voice down. The walls are thin in RVs. So, anyway. But, uh, yeah. This place is amazing. Decided to call this the minivan of trucks. Look at that. It's six doors. Have any of you ever seen that before? First of all, that's gorgeous. Second of all, seriously, have you seen that? That's really cool. We're gonna have to check that out. <laughs> we don't need anything like that, but. Oh yeah, you've got the big rig towing the fifth wheel. There's a channel I follow that uh, has that type of thing. I love that tent. So, yeah. What's, oh, he's got his motorcycle back there. That's pretty cool. So, okay, let's head over to the beach. All right, here's this road again. And we're foggy this morning, so we're gonna have to really rely on people using their headlights. All right, I think after this big truck, we'll be good to go. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Okay. As Robert walks nice and easy, I freak out and run. All right, we'll see you at the beach. So look at the look at the different angles or wide lens depths on the iPhone. This is 0.5, that's one, and that's 2.5. I like that we can do that, that's awesome. There's one, and then back to 1.5. So you get like a full wide angle and then uh, the narrow type zoom, yeah. I really appreciate that. Good morning, little buddy. Here's our girl. We need to get slide tappers. We were just discussing 
if you look at that camper, you see how the awning comes out over the slide. We actually really like that. We have two separate awnings and uh, I'd really like that. You would prevent the need of a slide topper for sure. I like that. Yeah, on this side anyway, yeah. Wow, look at that, a big old Super C. These are some huge RVs in here. Look at that, three wheels. Massive. So, anyway, it's a very, very large RV park. I hear the pupper barking at me. <laughs> so, I'm telling you, I really like it here. We will definitely be back, but there's a couple of RV parks here that we'd like to try out. On the back side of the property here, they have a little miniature horse and some donkeys. Oh, I wish they would come let me pet them. Oh. All right, we're back at the campsite. Oh, starting some breakfast here. Got the Blackstone up, getting hot, get the bacon out, and we'll just have some bacon and eggs. And uh, she's all wet full of condensation. Welcome to Texas. That's how it is here. I'm going to pull out the awning here in just a second to give us a little cover from the sun that's coming out. Let's see if it's going to rain. Um, but Rob is about to scrape all the sticker burrs off our sandals. So let's hope it all comes off. I hope it does. Anyway, so I'm having one more cup of coffee. There's only a little bit left in here. And um, then I'm going to take a shower, get dressed, and then we have to start packing up. Go. Obviously, that's for Rob and I, and we're gonna take some home. The beauty of having the refrigerator. How's it going over there, Mister? It's going good. I mean, he's got to get them all out. That's he's gotten a lot of that, but look at that. Yeah, that's what they were like. So mine, we're just gonna throw away because mine are like four dollar sandals from Target. So all right, got the awning out. Nice. Need to uh, clean it a little bit. There seem to be some leaves. I don't recall us ever pulling the full awning out. So, I don't know. Have we? Oh. Okay, so I've got some hot spots in my Blackstone still. The flame's not, still not quite right. So, I kind of burned the bacon, which I don't really ever do. But that's right. So, I'm going to fix some bacon and eggs. Make some eggs. Rob's going to come in and have some breakfast too. He is taking out the trash. And uh, then we'll. Be back. Oof, just started pouring. Let's see if it does it again. It was very, very loud. Okay, the wind has just really picked up. Oh my gosh, look at this. So if you look at the flags across the way, look look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. The palm tree right next to us is just... Oof. Okay, go away, Storm. Pass by us, come on. I do not want to have to drive home in this. <laughs> the whole camper is shaking. This is the first time we've been in the RV, any RV. I mean, she's running around bringing her plants in. This is the first time we've been in any kind of camper or RV with this kind of weather. Man, everybody, I've seen everybody rushing to bring in their um, awnings and We are rocking. That is the, it's the weirdest feeling. Okay, well, I'm gonna be, I've done the dishes, I just need to put everything away. And it's almost time to like pack up, pack up, but I'm gonna get dressed, put my makeup on. Look at my shirt. Is it backwards? Is that not the cutest? Between the shirt from Anne and a couple of different camping shirts. I bought some camper leggings. I mean, I'm going all in. Why not? So, all right, I'll see you in a second.
Hopefully we don't blow away. I'm like freaking out because we're on the end. So we don't even have another camper to block the wind. We, we are getting it. So we're getting blown into that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's dropped like 15, 20 degrees. Oof. The weather, let's see. Check the radar. I, it just rained, I mean, I showed you the rain. It rained really hard for like five seconds and then just a steady, decent rain. Okay, hold on. The wind just picked up again. So basically it's supposed to be like this all the way home. Um, this would actually make me want to stay one more night. I don't want to drive in this. Apparently it's 29 to 30, it's 25 to 35 mile per hour winds right now. Currently steady at 29. There are the birds. Birds are back. The birds are flipping around in the... Oh, I can't get... There's one. Come on, birds. Come back. Anyway, according to Google, 50 miles per hour is really the max winds. <laughs> so I'm not real comfortable in these winds. If we were going to be staying low, I would be fine, but we're going over the causeway. I don't even know if you can hear me, but oh my gosh, it is so, so, so windy. It's starting to blow my contacts right on my eyeballs. <laughs> I changed and it cooled off. Isn't that cute? Okay, well, she's all packed up. So um, I'm gonna pull the Apple TV out. That's one thing I need to do. Everything's put away. That's my bags for the truck. That's there for safekeeping. The bathroom's packed up. This is all ready to go. Rob is outside working on the outside. We have flushed the tanks. We are just leaving the drain open right now, making sure the gray and the black, everything is completely emptied because it's cold. It's, well, it's the time of year it can get cold and we don't want to have any freezing whatsoever. So we're gonna disconnect the water and completely run it dry, turn on every faucet, the toilet, all of that, run the hot and the cold completely deplete the tanks as much as we can. Um, we're not winterizing the trailer because we're going to be camping through January, February in there. So um, it doesn't really get cold enough in Texas that I'm aware of to really need. I don't know. If we get a hard freeze, I may worry about it. We'll see. We'll see. All right. I'll see you in a second.